Does your crosshair look like this? Valorant's come a long way since beta, and from the start of beta, a lot of people were using larger crosshairs like they did in Counter-Strike because of the striking semblance that this game had with CSGO. So players like Shroud and Hiko started off with larger crosshairs because this is what they were used to. Nowadays though, almost every single professional in the Valorant scene uses a small crosshair because of the need for precision and accuracy. Though it is true that the crosshair use is primarily the user's choice and preference, I'm here to explain three reasons why a smaller crosshair might be more useful for you. Also, if you don't know who I am, I'm Kapeki and I'm a rating coach who's helped several dozens of players hit Immortal Plus in my two and a half years of coaching Valorant. Before the video, I just want to quickly let you know that in a few weeks from now, we'll be launching the 13th season of the Immortal Room program that has a five division rank up guarantee in six weeks. We're only accepting 30 students at this time, so message me the keyword crosshair on Discord if you want to see if we'd be a good fit for each other. The first reason why you should use a smaller crosshair is that using smaller crosshairs offers enhanced screen visibility, providing a critical edge in games like Valorant, where every tiny detail can tip the scales in your favor. For example, there are moments when the crosshair may be too big and can cover areas that a silver dart might be. Or you might not be able to get that headshot in long range fights because the crosshair is too big and it's hard to center it on a smaller target. Admirable shot. When I lost. The second reason why you should use a smaller crosshair is that it can encourage you to go for more taps and bursts rather than full on spring. In Counter-Strike, it was okay to have a larger crosshair because spraying had a distinct pattern and a larger crosshair would help you know how far you needed to drag your mouse down. However, in Valorant, the spray pattern is random, so you don't want to be spraying as much as tapping or bursting. You want to minimize RNG when shooting by making everything as accurate as possible, and when there is a smaller crosshair like a dot for example, it's easier to take a bit more time to line up the crosshair to the head of the opponent before actually shooting. Third and last reason why I recommend a smaller crosser is that a smaller crosser may help you out with your crosser placement. For example, I can use a 1420 crosser, like a ruler, to know how wide I should be holding an angle. I found that holding one crosser width away from the angle is good for common angles, and holding two crosser widths away is useful for holding off angles that enemies are more likely to be swinging wide. At the end of the day, your crosshair comes down to your personal preference, but having a smaller crosshair can encourage us to be more precise and accurate in a game that heavily rewards those two traits. There's no such thing as becoming like 10s with a change in settings, but we can definitely use our settings to help influence our growth. Thanks for watching.